Oh, hello there. I recently shaved my head, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. So I don't know if you remember in my Dominican Republic video, I got my hair braided at the beach, and it kind of looked like a fake side shave, side cut. It looked like a fake one of these, and I really liked it, and I liked the look of all my hair just to one side, and I don't know, I just, I thought it looked cool, and I was like, yeah, that'd be cool if I got this, like, actually shaved it off, but I didn't. And I've been wanting to do something fun with my hair for years. I was gonna dye it gray once, I was going to dye like just like the underneath a color. I've just been all over the board with wanting me to do something with my hair because my outfit's how I want it to be, my makeup's how I want it to be, but my hair was always so boring. And I don't do anything to my hair, like I don't curl it, straighten it, blow dry it. Finally, I was like, I just want to do something fun. And I was going to dye my hair blue. I decided that in Europe, but then I realized once I went, I got back from Europe, I was getting ready to schedule an appointment, they said they're closed on Sunday, so I was like, okay, I'll go after I get back from Colorado for my college orientation. And I realized that if I dyed my hair blue before I got to college and I got there, I'd be known as the girl with the blue hair. And I'm not saying that's wrong, um, I mean, now I have this kind of extreme hair, not necessarily as extreme as blue hair, but, you know, I have the septum piercing, so it's already a lot different than, at least Minnesota, I know Colorado, they have a different style, but at least in Minnesota, I already do kind of, it's not stand out, but it's just different than a lot of the people. And I wanted to just get to know people as Erica, and then if I wanted to do something fun, do it then. I don't know if that makes sense, and some of you might not agree with that thinking or ideology, but that's what I thought. I just wanted to kind of establish myself before I get do something that that's all people will see, because it's such an outlandish color. It's not like red or anything. It's blue that's like opposite of this color. I was just going in for a regular haircut because I was like, yeah, I need it. It's kind of short now. It's kind of sad, but I actually was vlogging that day before I got it, and I guess I will show you that clip now. So I am currently on my way to a hair appointment, and I'm getting something a little crazy done to my hair. I'm going to get a side shave. I just decided it yesterday. I've wanted it for a long time, and I've lately been really sick of my hair. I want it to be fun, and I was going to dye it blue for a while, but I decided not to, so I decided why not get a side shave. So next time you see me, this won't be hair. I will have significantly less hair, and also I'm getting a cut because it's super long. Oh, there's people. I should pay attention. <laughs> it's super long, and I have to get it cut anyways, and that's why I'm going to the hair appointment, but I'm just going to show up and be like, hey, P.S., I don't just need a trim, I also need a shave. <laughs> so this is what it's like before. We'll see what it's like afterwards. Oh, and this is how long it is. It goes down to like here, so. Ah! And then I recorded afterwards of me getting it shaved. Hello. <laughs> okay, first off, she cut a lot more than three inches. I think she cut six or seven off. Like what? Look at how short my hair is. Showed her a picture of Demi Lovato. I guess I could show you in case you guys want to get a similar thing and you want a picture. It's a blurry photo, but I showed her this. So, and um, she said, okay, well let's do it. And she like sectioned off the hair and then just shaved it off. Like didn't ask me if it was okay, it wasn't there. It just happened right away before I even got a haircut. And I don't know if I want a little bit more cut or not, but it feels so freaking weird. And I think she said, she has like a 1.5, that was the length that this was. So as you can see in that video, this was not as big as it is now, and I'll get into this in a second, but it was maybe only that big. And if my hair, the hair that's kind of in the back, came forward a little bit, obviously now it'd have to really come forward, but it kind of naturally covered a lot. Like here you can definitely still see that there's a side shape. When it was just a small little square, it didn't really look like it was shaved, it just kind of hid it. It was very easily hidden. So then I realized when I was just out and about that day that my hair kept covering my side shave. It just wasn't as noticeable as I wanted it to be. And I remembered I watched Glam and Gore or Mikey's video the night before when I was just like, maybe I'll get this. I, you know, went on YouTube and Googled side shave. And she's like, this is me getting it. And then she got a bigger piece and she's like, this is me actually committing. Let's do more. And I was like, that's kind of how I feel. Like, what I did, it's fun, and if you have responsibilities, or if you don't want to go all that far out, you can see in that clip that I showed, it, it wasn't that big, it's easily covered, but I was like, this isn't me actually committing to it. I want you to be able to see it. That's why I'm getting the thing, so you can actually see it. So I 
went in at eight and I got more shaved off, a significant amount more. It was like right to my ear and now it's a significant far amount back. I will turn my head so you can see. Um, she said she didn't want to go any farther because if she went any, you know, farther back, she'd have to like shave down like to my neck and she said she didn't want to do that. So I don't know if you can see the clear line and then I had to go up a little bit more this way too just to keep it, you know, kind of a shape that's nice. But um, I do actually have a cowlick or colic, whatever you call it, right here so it kind of makes my hair like, and you can kind of see that. But um, yeah, I went back and I had her do more and I love the thing. Growing it out is going to suck and then I thought, well what if I got a death hawk so both sides are shaved and then I just have the center and I was like, no, let's let's chill out. I think I'm fine with just the one side. Just some, I guess, basic pros and cons about it. I would say growing it out. Now you can just part your hair on the other side and it'll be covered, um, but still growing it out is going to be a pain and if you wear like a ponytail and you have hair that's like down to here and all the rest of your hair is long, obviously it's going to be noticeable. So yeah, another thing is I go to Warp Tour this Sunday. Today it is currently Thursday. So this is like virgin skin. It has never seen the sun. The part has. The part has? I said that weird. Yeah, so just that's a thing to keep in mind too. If you're going to be around a lot of sun, you have to think about putting sunscreen on it and that it's going to burn pretty easily if you don't take care of it or don't ease into the sun because it's like white skin. Obviously, it depends what skin color you have. I'm just talking about me personally. I have super white skin in general, let alone this hair or skin. What? It's nice because when you sweat, it you know, it's not as heavy as it is on this side. Me and Hannah were longboarding and I was sweating over here, but this is, it was a breeze. Um, another pro is you get to feel it all the time. Like I just sometimes sit there and I just kind of, you know, feel my little fuzz. It's, it's something fun to do and I love it. Also another pro is you can kind of cut fun designs in it if you want to. I'm not going to, um, but you could if you want to. Also, if you have any scars or if you have weird ears, <laughs> um, that's going to be very visible. So keep in mind that that now this whole side of your face is going to be exposed. Now, luckily, um, it just worked out this way when I was taking pictures. Like, oh, this is my good side, which is helpful. You know, what's something that I realized: every body mod I have is on the left side of my body. I have. This is on the left side, this nose piercing, I don't have one on this, it's on this side, and both of my tattoos are on my left side. And my bracelets, like everything's on this side, that's so weird. Why this poor right side like has nothing, like I'm just an average human, just kidding, fight me. Also I watched a video from Brienne Barbie and she was talking about like the pros and cons, I don't even remember hers, this was, I watched this before I got it done, and she said, she doesn't like how it looks in buns and ponytails. So she's like, forget about wearing buns and ponytails because it looks horrible. I think it looks really cool. I will put my hair up in a ponytail and show you what it looks like. So this is my hair just really roughly in a ponytail. And um, there is a very clear line, if you can see. That's just, I don't know if it's from my colic or if that's just obviously the hair being pulled back, but it's only in a certain spot. Um, but yeah, I don't think the hair looks bad when it's in a ponytail. I think it looks cool, but if you don't like this look, just keep that in mind, I guess. Oh, another thing is your hair will be significantly thinner. Um, there will be a lot less like in your ponytail. Now I wrap my ponytail around my hair like four times instead of three because all this hair is now gone. So just keep that in mind too, your hair will be thinner. I mean, that's kind of obvious, but I'm just saying I didn't think about that until I put it in a ponytail and I was like, wow, there's a lot less hair in there. Also, um, this is a con for me, especially it's a pretty big con and it really stopped me from getting it before. Um, I have a skin condition called psoriasis and I mainly have it on my scalp. I have a few parts on my body where I get it and I just have really sensitive skin overall. Um, but psoriasis is, I mean, it's typically known as when you like have a bunch of dandruff in your head flakes. I don't have it that severe, but I do have dry patches in my scalp and whenever I go to a new hair lady, they're always like, what are these things in your scalp? And I'm like, you don't need to point it out, but thanks. So I have a lot of um, yeah, dry patches in my scalp and kind of um, dead skin or just things like that. And so if you do have that, I have noticed um, kind of back here, I can get just some like a rough patch basically. So um, think about that if you do have a skin condition that will be more noticeable. But honestly, it hasn't been an issue yet. And this might sound weird, but when I condition my hair, I do condition <laughs> my scalp just because to keep that under control a little bit. And it just keeps it like a little soft puff. 
but that's something to think about. For me, I have psoriasis, so that was the thing I really had to worry about because it's worse on my scalp, so I wasn't sure how it was gonna look, but I took the risk and it turned out fine. So if you have psoriasis and you're considering getting a head shave, side shave, what, it might turn out okay. So I think that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Um, yeah, I really like it. Now I wanna get like a piercing on my ear, another one, cause it's like, it's so open that I feel like I should have something interesting more going on than just like, a two gauge ear and a piercing, like whoop de doo So that's pretty much all I have to say about my side shave. If you have any questions, um, comment them down below and I'll do my best to try and answer them. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.